up on her, getting the start today, and it's paying off for Old Dominion now. In the lane, it's going to be Western Kentucky trying to finish with Jalen Foster on the feed. She misses, and Iggy Allen comes up with another rebound as she's approaching double-figure numbers in both points and boards. Nice pass from Allen. Oh, the unselfishness. It's pretty to watch. Amari Young to Asia win, and Old Dominion starts the second half just the way they started the first one, Susan. Well, that's really when Old Dominion's at their best, when they're sharing the basketball like that, when they can... Uh, lead and assist boy this team is is spectacular another assist there as it's asia wayne and amari young teaming up now western kentucky trying to get that same thing going but it's going to be a turnover as foster couldn't find a cutting slicing down the middle of the lane abdel kawa this wku team 395 assists coming in which is best in conference usa there's 71.6 points per game also best in the league and in many ways a byproduct of that unselfishness but today old dominion's been the more selfless group yeah, well, Western Kentucky, uh, 19 turnovers a game. So that is one of their downfalls. That's what you're going to get with a young team. Adams passes it to Asia Wayne. Her three from the right wing won't go. Rebounded by Abdel Gawad, who was fouled, as I think they caught Iggy Allen for that personal, and they did her second personal. And the team's second one here as well. Check that first one of the half. But uh, Old Dominion doing a great job here of limiting Western Kentucky on the three-point line. Just one of 11, and Hope Savori has yet to score. Abdel Gawad with just two field goals. It's going to be me trying to orchestrate things. She doesn't have an assist, and she just turned it over. As Asia Hudson's able to jump in front of it, pick the pocket, steal, and lay up off the glass. Asia Hudson continues to star on senior day. She's got 15, and uh-oh, Mariah Adams with the inbound steal from half court. Pull-up jumper's going to be short, rebounded by Meade. It will go out of bounds the other way but my goodness if you fall asleep napping on the inbounds the monarchs will make you pay yeah you're right about that asia hudson great job on the defensive end to get that layup and that's what i was talking about in transition old dominion had an advantage they're two on one you don't take a jumper inbound abdel gawad over to foster up ahead to abdel gawad almost stolen by iggy allen who hits the deck abdel gawad now Dribbles into two defenders, kicks it out. Three-point shot's going to be off the mark as they continue to stay cold. Follow not good. Blevins and Foster both missing. Blevins from deep. Foster inside. Here's Iggy Allen in the, on the break. Bounce pass to Asia Wayne. Now dumps it off to Amari Young, who was fouled, leaning away, and that's going to send Amari to the free throw line. The North Augusta, South Carolina products. First two attempts at the stripe today. Well, good job there from Asia Wayne. Iggy Allen did a you know good job pushing the ball down the floor but waited just a little bit too late to, uh, to make that pass to Asia Wayne. You got to pass it a little bit sooner when you still have an advantage because uh, by that time, the defense had already gotten back. Savori called for that foul. So here is Amara Young at the line who misses the first of two. She is shooting 38.6% from the line on the year, but her 53.7% from the field is certainly uh, not only most accurate on this Old Dominion team, but among the better performers as far as top two or three rebounders and scorers on any team in conference usa her second one's going to be off the mark as well it gets tapped out of bounds and it will stay with old dominion so that's a break for the monarchs you miss a couple of free throws with amari but you maintain possession yeah well they do a good job uh, on the glass on free throws miss free throws that's for sure so amari not shooting it well she even went after it because she knew that she had missed it adams having a hard time getting inbound and she'll have to inbound it deep to Asia Wayne about five feet behind a three-point line, and she'll hand it off to Asia Hudson, who dishes it to Mariah Adams with a left-handed dribble. She'll kick it over to Iggy Allen, a little head fake. Dribbling it on the floor. Iggy loses it, goes to the deck, has to pass it up high to Adams to avoid a turnover. Now she dishes it to Asia Wayne. We thought about dishing it to Hudson. She'll take a three, and it's off the back end of the rim as Asia Wayne still stays cold from deep. Uh, one for seven from the field today, and then we get a personal underneath as Iggy gets called for the personal on Foster, the rebounder for WKU, and a substitution, as we'll see, Teresa Faustino come in and relieve WKU's Hope Savori. Yeah, well, it, uh, I don't, I'm not sure why, but Asia Wayne's just not getting any lift on her shot. Everything is flat. It's like a straight line to the basket, and no way the ball's going to go in. It's got to go above the rim before it can go in. Excuse me, that last foul was on Hudson. Her second, I misspoke. Now underneath, they get it to WKU's Jalen Foster on a great dime there wku sharing the basketball well as jenna walker found her for the easy deuce yeah that was a great uh on ball screen that was just a little two-man game and they did a great job of it 
fire pass inside the missile by Adams to Amari Young down low, and it's good. That's a little fire drill stuff. So you get that ball high, you <laughs> throw that thing in there, 39-29 in favor of the Monarchs. Well, you let Amari, uh, you let her get it in there that close. That thing's, a, that's going in, no doubt. Western Kentucky takes about two passes, two dribbles, and they get a layup the other way with Abdel Gawad, who did that in the blink of an eye. 39-23, the score is in favor of Old Dominion. A couple of defenders in the view of Mariah Adams, who has three assists today. Dishes it to Iggy Allen, corner three ball is switched home for Iggy Allen. The Monarchs increase their lead to 19. Wow, well, she caught that thing in rhythm. Uh, didn't, didn't think about it. Just caught it and shot it, and nothing but net. No hesitation as Iggy is a point away from a double-double. Hudson leads the way with 15 points. Allen with 10 rebounds. Now spin move underneath. Faustino giving it up underneath, and it's going to be Foster trying to lean back against Allen. Can't score it, and both Allen and Adams... Battling for the board, it will trickle out and stay with WKU with 6.35 on our third quarter clock. Well, right here, um, these out-of-bounds under the basket. Old Dominion has to really talk. They set a lot of screens, so you got to communicate with each other. Pass fake left, and then they dish it inside right to Foster to get it back to the inbounder and Blevins, who's trying to score against three pink shirt bodies, and she does somehow with the Hudson, Adams, and Young uh, surrounding her and it's 42 25 well she got it blocked and it came right back down to her and somehow she was able to get it off and she did a good job by getting it high on the glass amari had that a rejection now it's going to be passed in from the corner hudson to asia wayne who was fouled think they caught blevins on that personal if you're wondering about asia hudson's career high it's 23 points uh she's close to that eight points away from that it's going to be uh, indeed, actually, it's going to be on Foster. It's going to be her third personal. So we saw Abdel Gawad with two personals early. Now Foster in foul trouble for Coach Greg Collins. And we've got a whistle on the inbounds as uh, Mari Young almost fell into the bench in front of uh, assistant coaches Danielle Bell, Shimon Williams, the former NBA guard and UNC standout, and Delisha Milton-Jones' husband, Roland Jones. And uh, we will see that personal called on WKU. Macy Blevins is called for that foul. Check that. It's going to be on Jenna Walker, rather, her first. I think they're going to look at just make sure there was no uh, funny business going on. Just take a quick look at it. Well, I think she got caught in the funny bone with that funny business. I'll yeah. tell you what, Western <laughs> Kentucky trying to raise the physicality, but you definitely get the sense, Susan, that Old Dominion is not only the more, uh, I guess you could say, forceful team inside, but in addition to that, they've got the speed edge. Athleticism edge in the open court. Their transition game was something that bothered and worried Coach Collins coming in, you can tell here. Yep. So one of the officials will come over and give Susan some uh, info on what this was. So we'll, all right, I think we'll be heading to a media timeout here in just a moment after they review yeah. it. What was, was that what she pretty much well, told she was just saying they were, they're just going to look at the, uh, to see if there was anything, you know, with that last foul. Um, so I, I didn't see anything, but I wasn't looking at it. So uh, we don't have our replay over here like we normally no, do. No, for, 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 for uh, unfortunate reasons, our monitor yeah. is off. So we're having to rely on the board up top here with 613 to go in our third quarter. And as we do that, Susan, uh, Old Dominion shooting 57.1% from the field, 37.5% for WKU. What's on deck for these two teams? Well, for Old Dominion, they'll be heading to the Sunshine State to take on FAU and FIU. So a chance to get on a little bit of a win streak and momentum. Those are two of the bottom teams in CUSA East. Then the next home game is here at Chartway against Louisiana Tech on March the 2nd before the big one with Middle Tennessee on the road to close out the regular season slate. Yeah, and um, Old Dominion cannot get caught looking forward after this game. You know, you can't get caught, well, we just got the bottom two. No, because uh, the, those two teams, teams have played well they played well here uh at our place so you know you got to go down there you got to take care of business uh you know and uh come back here get louisiana tech and then you know it could come down to that game at middle tennessee for a you know a different place in your seating in the tournament so Without a doubt i mean it might not be for first because charlotte seems to have i wouldn't say a stringle hole on that but they've got pretty good comfort on that and if you're wku they have after this one a home game with middle tennessee on february 26th then their last two games at home against marshall at marshall we just saw marshall with <laughs> savannah wheeler she can get hot and cooking in a hurry with 30 plus at the drop of a hat so it could be bad for wku if they don't get things turned around quickly well yeah you you look at it um western kentucky they're just struggling shooting the ball and they 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 are not they don't seem to play well against teams that move really fast you know they've been they've sped them up and um and, and it's been okay they uh they've not been able to handle it so we'll come back after the break 42 25 in favor of old dominion on the odu sports radio network 
Union 42, Western Kentucky 25, 613 remaining in our third quarter. Susan, as we just found out from the officials, uh, nothing that catastrophic or drastic during nope. that replay. No, no funny business uh, happened out there, so just a common foul. So Old Dominion inbounds it with Adams giving it into Asia Hudson up top. A little dribble action from her. Hands it off to Iggy Allen. Now back to Hudson. Thought about a three. She'll drive baseline. Dish it to Amara Young. Quick snap passing for the Monarchs. Iggy Allen for three. And that was gorgeous, Susan. A 20-point lead. That passing, you had to turn your head left, right, left, and the Monarchs score it from deep. And there again, that good inside out. And then Iggy Allen, again, feet set. She called it, ready to shoot it. Much better shot selection from her today. 20-point lead now, a missile inside, but Asia Wayne says, get that out of here, rejected Macy Blevins. Bounce pass in transition. Allen to Hudson. Now Adams back to Allen in the post. Two defenders come on her. All right, Adams is open. She'll lean in with the floater. It's short, rebounded by WKU. I think she kind of rushed that, didn't get enough arc on that one, Susan. Yeah, and uh, what happens when Ooh. you do that, when you miss a shot right at the rim, Normally, just what Western Kentucky did. They take it the other way and get a layup. Transition layup as it was Foster with the board up ahead. They give it to Abdel Gawad, who scores it. Plus, she draws the foul. It'll be Asia Wayne second, who had that great block the last trip down. So, 5.23 to go in our third quarter. Abdel Gawad looking for her 10th point to crack double digits. And a couple of substitutions for WKU as the Lady Toppers bring back in the big 6'3 freshman forward inside in Gabby McBride. Abdel Gawad's free throw will roll out, rebounded by Iggy Allen, who's closing in on her season high of 15 boards. She did it in two games this year. Now bounce pass on the other end of the left wing. Asia Wayne will pass it out to Mariah Adams. She sees Asia Hudson, who's kind of lurking in the corner of her eye on the wing. Now Amari Young has it. Cross court pass to Adams. Now about pass inside to Asia Wayne. We'll try to lean in and have it blocked by McBride, and it will go out of bounds and stay, it looks like, with Old Dominion, or is it going to Western Kentucky? I think it's going to it's going to go to WKU, rather, with 5.04 left in our third quarter. Yeah, Asia Wayne just cannot get going. So what, what she needs to do is just, you know, she told us this herself, uh, you know, just get on the boards, take it strong, try to get fouled. She's been able to knock it down from the free throw line and just continue playing good defense. WKU trying to score before the under five timeout here, 45-27, little jab step move with the right foot by Blevins who dribbles to the right now up high. The pass brought in by McBride who kicks it out to Abdel Gawa with 10 on the shot. I thought she would threw a three there, but she didn't uncork it. Now she passes it out to Blevins who also won't shoot a three. She'll just throw up a heave in the lane. It's rebounded by Iggy Allen again who's continuing to get defensive rebounds and push it up the floor. Allen over to Asia Hudson. Pass was wide, but she got it. Now a defender's in her view. Back to Iggy Allen, who's going to try to lean in and scoop it in, but she doesn't. It's going to be missed, although I think we've got a whistle underneath, so it will stay with the Monarchs. Yeah, that uh, finally, I, there, the lane was so wide open. I was trying to get somebody to cut, and they finally did it. Old Dominion 45, WKU 27. And we'll come back with more on the ODU Sports Radio Network. It's Old Dominion 45, Western Kentucky 27, and uh, the adjustments for both sides here, Susan. Uh, Old Dominion had the lead of 33 to 19 at the break. You continue to pound the glass, limit Western Kentucky's clean looks from the perimeter. And if you're Coach Greg Collins, I feel like uh, they've got to get better looks because right now they're having a hard time getting any easy buckets in transition. Old Dominion is just faster, a step better, and they're really hurting, hurting them a big time on the offensive boards. Yeah, you're right, and uh, it's just the pace of the game, right? Um, Western Kentucky is having to pay, uh, play Old Dominion's pace, and uh, it it's, has not been good to them uh, so far in the basketball game. So if they can get it slowed down just a little bit, just like in the second period, they were able to get it slowed down a little bit, but really not put a dent into the lead. Allen hits the first of two free throws following that foul by McBride before our break. And here comes the second for her. She's up to 13 points, 13 rebounds. Second one is good as well to give her 14 and 13 on this day. Kay Clark will come in for Iggy Allen. So uh, the Monarchs really spreading it out. After those two, they've got Young, Wayne, Barnes, Williams, and Jackson with multiple points for Western Kentucky. Nobody in double figures right now. And it's going to be picked up near the timeline by WKU with Alexis Mead, who's trying to get by Kay Clark, switch on by Amari Young here, and they pass it over with 20 on the shot clock to the right, bounce pass by Savori, in the high post is going to be Foster, who kicks it back out Abdel Gawad, only with four field goals today, she drives with the right hand and gets by Asia Wayne for the bucket and the harm, 4.04 to go as WKU tries to make a little bit of a run here before the end of the third quarter Well, just kind of slapped at it, and uh, I'll go um 
Al Gawad, Al, Al, however that was she close was. enough. Abdel okay. Gawad, we'll so give it to you. So Abdel <laughs> Gawad, yeah. So um, she was able to get to the rim, and Asia Wayne just kind of slapped at it. And if you're going to foul, you might as well get your money's worth. You got to get get that ball out of her hands, uh, keep her from scoring, and getting an and one. Hits the free throw. Such a talented player, Susan, from uh, Cairo, Egypt. Maybe we can get her a nickname like the Egyptian something. Yeah, we'll something, something that right? I can say. It's easier for everybody. This, <laughs> this southerner over here, I don't know. That's a mouthful for me. 2-3 <laughs> zone. Look for WKU as Adams will hand it off to Kay Clark up top with 3.50 to go in our third quarter. Kaylin Nelson has the score table. Bass is deflected by Foster, but Amari Young is able to maintain possession after getting it and hit the shot to her left, 49-30 in favor of ODU. Well, good job from Amari uh, Young. She picked up that loose ball, and uh, she knew what to do with it when she got it. Cross-court feed Abdel Gawad to Savori. See, I almost got tripped on it that time. Abdel Gawad now with the handle against two defenders. It's going to be stolen away. Asia Hudson has it. Got a defender chasing her. Can she beat her to the rim? She does. Asia Hudson lays it in. 17 points for the senior from Baldwin, New York, and the Monarchs are back up 20-plus, 20 21-point advantage. Well, you know what? That's something where we we have seen before from Asia Hudson, especially last year, and uh, they could use that, this type of output every single time. Pass interior feed for McBride over to Meade, misses the shot, but McBride gets the board, and now Amari Young makes her give it up. Kay Clark checking Foster with five on a shot clock, cross court pass, pump fake move, Savori driving on Mariah Adams, she'll lean in against two defenders, miss it, rebound, pulled in by Amari Young against the trees of WKU, and the Monarchs will slow things down here with 245 and a third. And that was really good defensive possession on that uh, particular. Cross court to Hudson, now reversal, Adams to Clark, now Asia Wayne, jumper from the baseline, that was in rhythm and good to see for Asia as she tries to get out of this shooting funk, her second field goal of the day, and a quick timeout from Coach Greg Collins, it'll be a 30. Yeah, that Old Dominion's got it going right now in these last several possessions. Susan, they've made their last three buckets, six of eight from the field, and this was after really a second quarter where they were sluggish. They were one of 11 in the field. They got up such a great start in the first period. Eight and 19, got to the foul line five times, hit the glass, and I'm curious to see, we'll have to ask this to coach Delisha Milton-Jones in postgame. You make the lineup switch just for senior day, you think, with Asia Hudson. You have, you have a luxury of options with Brianna Jackson and with Kay Clark, but this worked so well today Maybe try it on the road against the Florida schools to see if you have both Clark and Jackson off the bench because to your advantage, Clark supplies that energy, that defensive hustle, can knock down shots from the, from the perimeter, as she's shown, and maybe it keeps Brianna Jackson out of foul trouble. The one thing about it is it makes Amari play the five as opposed to her natural spot at the four. Yeah, and uh, I think a lot of it has to do, too, with who you are playing and um, because size-wise, if you're Old Dominion, uh, Asia Wayne can, go can guard Mel... Mm, Al, yeah. The Egyptian uh, yeah. nightmare. <laughs> yes, our, yes, and can guard her. So, you know, you can have that extra guard in there uh, if you're Old Dominion playing against this squad. Out of the timeout, quickly go into the 10 for the bucket to the right is Alexis Mead. She gets it to pinball in, and she's fouled with 2.22 to go in our third quarter. But it does bring up an interesting thought, though, doesn't it? Maybe it's something you, you think about, you something ponder. You definitely can because you know you always look for asia hudson coming off the bench and and providing a spark especially with her three-point shot but uh today she just had it going on from the beginning of the game that basket is huge for her foul shot is good for me after kayla nelson was called for the foul up ahead to Hudson at the timeline. She'll just drive all the way in for a layup for two. You would think Western Kentucky would have somebody shed over to her. She is just destroying them right now offensively, and it's Old Dominion up 22 at 55-33. Yeah, they definitely should have gone to her and try to stop that, but they didn't. She's good at getting those layups. we got a foul as WKU penetrates the middle of defense, and it's going to be on Old Dominion. Alexis Mead going off the bounce. This was the Alexis Mead we saw for a good portion of the first half when Old Dominion got behind by a uh, heaping helping, if you will, the first meeting two weeks ago. And, in fact, uh, Western Kentucky now at the foul line for the 11th and 12th time today. Hudson called for her third foul, and uh, Meade's first free throw of two is good. Well, I tell you what, uh, Western Kentucky, they, you know, normally do an, uh, a really good job, like we said, of shooting the free throws. They shoot about 69% in conference, and they make an average of making 13 a game and uh, just have not gotten up to that point today. But you certainly don't want to give them the opportunity <laughs> to get going. Both free throws good, and Asia Hudson getting a hand from this old Dominion crowd here at Chartway Arena. Joy Campbell on the floor, as well as Iggy Allen, Amari Young, Kay Clark, and Kayla Nelson. 
Young gets the pass from Campbell at the midcourt line. Now Iggy Allen has it along the baseline, tries to thread the needle to Kay Clark, and it's going to be deflected out of bounds. It will stay with Old Dominion with 155 left on our third quarter clock. Well, it's still 20 seconds uh, on the clock if you're Old Dominion, so take your time, get this ball in, and, and get a good game plan going and get a good shot. Kaylin Nelson gets the inbound from Campbell now. Iggy Allen will jab step fake. Jumper is going to be off the mark from the perimeter. Rebounded by McBride, who dishes it over to me. Now up ahead to Abdel Gawad. She's going to try to drive on Nelson. Instead, she'll pull it out, rather, to Hope Savori. Pass in the middle of the lane to Foster, and it's good. Jalen Foster scoring it in the teeth of the defense. An 18-point deficit again. Here comes Kay Clark quickly up the floor for Old Dominion with the left hand. Trying to get it to Joy Campbell, and she does here with 129 left in our third period. So, but that zone defense again from WKU, Susan. Yeah, they've uh, they pretty much played that the entire basketball game. Steal here as Nelson loses the rock, but Joy Campbell rips it right away back from Hope Savori, and Old Dominion has possession. Joy Campbell, tell you what, she is a real spark plug defensive. Those five steals against Appalachian State, she is known for that as the five foot six sophomore from UC Riverside kicks it in the corner to Kay Clark. Back up top to Campbell here with 16 on the shot clock as we tick under one minute left in our third quarter. Campbell on the right side of the floor. Over to Clark, who will drive in. It'll be a hand check foul called on Foster, it looks like, of WKU. Well, Old Dominion will be shooting free throws here. And uh, Kay Clark, she's normally a pretty good free throw shooter. She struggled today, too, trying to get her shot going. And But she's played good defense. She's done a good job. You know, you, you may not always have your shot not, um, going through the net, but you can always play good defense, and she's done that today. That was Foster's fourth foul, and in the last minute against Old Dominion, Foster had 13.6 rebounds. Free throw is going to be good for Clark, one of two there. And uh, WKU missing the services of a young lady who certainly was valuable to them, Susan. Maya Meredith got hurt against Old Dominion, 11.7 rebounds. was really their offensive engine. Second free throw is good for Clark. Out for the year with the torn ACL, mm -hmm. so that's one that they're missing. And, of course, the Monarchs without some injured players as well. We've highlighted it before with the likes of Amaya Moreland, Maggie Robinson, and Talia Washington all out. Not sure that they'll see any of those three come back. And in the post, they go WKU with Jalen Foster falling away with those four fouls. She stays on the floor, and she draws the foul. So two free throws forthcoming for the six-foot-tall freshman four from Austin, Texas. Well, Kay Clark's trying to guard her, and uh, they said just put a little bit too, too much body on her inside because Clark definitely had a disadvantage, a height disadvantage, and... Uh, so we'll see if West Kentucky can uh, knock down these free throws. Foster misses the first of two on the year. She shoots at 51.6% on the campaign. It was Clark's second of the day in terms of the uh, personal fouls. Second one does fall for her, and she will take a seat as Coach Collins wants to avoid her fouling out before the fourth quarter. Coming in is Jenna Walker, the 5'8 freshman. So about a 17, almost 18-second differential between game and shot clock. Monarchs put it into play with Amari Young to Joy Campbell, who speeds by Alexis Mead, now finds it to the left side of the floor with Kay Clark. Back to Campbell up top. 37 ticks here in our third quarter. Old Dominion up by 19. Biggest lead was 23 just a couple of minutes ago. Kay Clark cross-court pass to Yellen. She thought about a jumper. Now we'll dribble in. Attacking now it's Amari Young getting the feed from her along the baseline. Misses underneath. But Kaylin Nelson with the offensive rebound and the stick back for Kaylin Nelson, the freshman for Old Dominion with her 21st and 22nd point of the season. It was a good look from Miggy Allen to Amari Young. She just missed that reverse layup. But Kaylin Nelson, great job there looking for to clean up the boards. 21-point lead for the Monarchs. Up and under move as they get off the feet of the Old Dominion Demons. Meade, but she misses it. Nelson with the rebound up ahead to Iggy Allen. Now Joy Campbell has it. A heave from half court at the horn. It's going to be short. It did hit the net, but it didn't go through the hoop <laughs> and the net, Susan. So it, it, was, uh, it was definitely online. One more little bit of energy from that. It would have gone in. Monarchs trail by 26 in Kentucky, but they're up by 21, 59-38 to 38 on WKU from Chartway Arena here in Norfolk, Virginia on the ODU Sports Radio Network. 59 to 38. We are set for the fourth quarter with Susan Montgomery. I am Matthew Hatfield. Well, if you told Coach Alicia Milton Jones, Susan, they'd be up by 21 going into the fourth quarter. I think she would have definitely signed for that given the rough second half, particularly the fourth quarter they had on Thursday against Marshall. Yeah, and what you want to see, though, is you want to see Old Dominion finish this game out, finish it out just as strong as they started it in that first period. Um, the way they play defense, the way they're moving the ball on the offensive end. Old Dominion starts with possession here as Iggy Allen gives it to Amari Young, and she goes right to work to the left side of the floor, attacking 
off the bounce and scoring it. 23-point advantage for the Monarchs, 61-38. to That's how you begin the fourth quarter. Now it's going to be Western Kentucky with a little jump pass action as they get it in down low to, uh, it's going to be first a shot off the mark for Kulo, and then a follow is no good. Uh, Alexis Mee trying to get to it. Joy Campbell has the basketball. She's able to save it. Bounce pass to Kayla Nelson. They got numbers three on two here. Iggy Allen over to Kayla Nelson. She'll try a three, doesn't get it to fall. It's rebounded by Old Dominion as Kay Clark shows the hustle for the offensive board. Yeah, well, a lot of hustle from uh, Joy Campbell. She lost the ball. She got it back, and then uh, here comes uh, Kay Clark getting that offensive board. Nelson got credited for a block that last trip down. Amari Young with back-to-back -back buckets here in his fourth quarter on the feed from Kay Clark, and Old Dominion has its largest lead of the day, 25 points at 63-38. Now up top. A little pass fake from Walker. Gives it over to me. Now up top, Abdel Gawad with the left hand working on Kay Clark. She'll feed it in the middle of the lane. It's going to be a foul. They catch Nelson, who uh, had a little bit too much contact on the cutting Blevins with 13 on our shot clock, 847 on our fourth quarter game clock. Well, you, when you have your player cutting to the basket, you got to try to beat her to the spot. And that time, Kayla Nelson just got caught behind her. And uh, therefore, that's the reason for the foul. First team foul, second personal on Nelson. Now with 15 on the shot clock, it's going to be Abdel Gawad driving with the right hand. Two defenders there as Iggy Allen comes over to help, and Kay Clark rips it over, rips it away from her. Good defense there. Clark in transition to Omari Young. Can she make it six points here in the quarter? Instead, she'll pass it out to Joy Campbell. Her jumper from the high post doesn't roll down, and it will go out of bounds to WKU there with 8.28 to go. Probably Amari overpassed that, right? Go right up and attack. Yeah, she, she could have attacked. But again, right there, you're older, man. You don't really have a good look at it. Uh, you know, Joy Clark, she, she's known more for her three-point shooting, so just pull it back out, run some clock. Now from the right wing here, it's Kulo handing it off to Abdel Gawad. Two hands in her face with Campbell and Young. Now Kaylin Nelson is guarding the dribbler up top, and Blevins, who attacks off the bounce, scores it, and is fouled here with 8.09 to play, and I think Asia Hudson might be coming in here for Nelson as she's at the table. So a free throw and a three-point chance here for Blevins. Actually, it'll be Campbell checking out. And Hudson will come in for her here. So a free throw for Blevins, who on the year is a 64.9% foul shooter. Well, Western Kentucky's uh, the majority of their points here in this second half. They've been able to get into uh, the paint. They've been able to get some uh, and ones. And, you know, that's just because they cut so well. Blevins' free throw is good. Iggy Allen along the right sideline. Passes it cross court to Kay Clark. Now Nelson will try a baseline jumper. Doesn't graze iron. Instead, it's going to be pulled in by Blevins of WKU. Here they come from left to right. Up ahead, they give it with Meade, who gets it back from Abdul Gawad. Tries a deep shot, and the three-point try is good for WKU. Suddenly got it under 20 today at 63-44. They're not quitting yet. Well, it's transition defense right there. you got to communicate. Everybody's got to pick somebody up. May not be the person you're supposed to have, but you got to pick up a player and guard them. Iggy Allen up top here with 16 on the shot clock, 7.25 to play. Looks like we're going to see another fresh face for the Monarchs at the next dead ball here. Iggy Allen gets the ball, driving down the middle of the defense. He'll kick it out. Kay Clark will try a corner three, and it's going to be off the mark underneath. It's going to be Kaylin Nelson, who was fouled by Blevins here. So we'll see our first look at... Alex Rouse, the five foot eight freshman guard from Little Rock, Arkansas, who scored more than 2,000 points and set a school record at Joe T. Robinson High. Her father, James Rouse, played football at Arkansas and for the NFL's Chicago Bears. Clark will go out for her. Well, she's got a good pedigree, that's for sure. So, uh, welcome her here. Her first, I, have, I haven't seen her play yet, I don't think. Maybe a minute. Allen hits, uh, tries a three. It, it almost goes down. It pops out in the last second. We got another foul on the floor here. Yeah, this is just Rouse's sixth game of action, and a couple of those were early on in the season in some games uh, that were lopsided when they, I think, believe beat Bowie State and Norfolk State. So uh, another foul on the floor against WKU. Amari Young getting a hand as she checks out with 12 points, six rebounds, three assists. Just so close to a double-double. That's the first foul on Meade here. WKU second foul. Inbound, Iggy Allen jumper is going to be off the back end of the rim, but rebounded inside by Rouse, who gets the rebound. Hands it off to Iggy Allen, who will lean in. Missed the shot. It rolls right out, but here's Brianna Jackson underneath trying to muscle down low. She can't get it to go, but Iggy Allen with another rebound. Abdel Gawad hits the floor. Goes out of bounds almost. She saves it into Walker. And Abdel Gawad was slow to get up here. She comes back. It's Meade in possession here with 6.42 to go in the fourth quarter. WKU trying to get closer. Down by 19. Corner three ball is going to be off for Blevins. It's going to be poked out of bounds, and it will go to Old Dominion here with 6.35 left. Boy, we missed some little bunnies there in that last possession. and uh, But came back down and played good defense 
on that possession, got that offensive board, the team board, but we'll take it. Foster's back on the floor for WKU. Mariah Adams smacks the scores table across the way to signal she's coming in for Kayla Nelson. Mm -hmm. Nelson's feet wet as a freshman. This is valuable for Rouse and Nelson, Susan, to get these freshmen in a game that you got a comfortable lead, a chance to play against a conference foe, because it's different than your out-of-conference games. You're a little bit more uh, tested, I guess you could say, later on in the season to be out here and get these minutes and learning. Right. Well, just to be able to get in and get some good competition, too, and uh, pivotal games, it, you know, it's a different type of uh, atmosphere and a different type of play, so. For sure. Adams gets it to Iggy Allen. High post jumper is good for Iggy, who is trying to finish this one strong. She's up to 16 points to go with her 13 rebounds. And Old Dominion back up by more than 20 at 65-44. We tick under six minutes to go in the post. It's going to be Foster with those four fouls working on Iggy Allen. She hits the deck and is going to be fouled there. Uh, she had to be very careful, too, Susan, because an offensive would mean she was done. Yeah, well, she, she made a great move there. She, you know, again, an up and under move. If you're... Well, it doesn't matter. Any basketball player should have that move in their arsenal, and uh, she definitely has got it this second time that we've seen her use it this afternoon. Asia Hudson did a little bit of a squint move with her head as she heard that was on her, not Allen. It's the fourth foul on Hudson, so one more, and she is done, but having a heck of a day, a season high, 19 points on seven of eight from the field, three of four from behind the arc, plus the three steals just behind Mariah Adams is four steals, and Foster hits the first of two free throws. The second one rolls out, rebounded by Iggy Allen who is one rebound now shy of matching her season high of 15 boards. Mariah Adams into the front court here. Working against Walker. 548 to play. Her pass is off the midst of Jackson into the hands of Abdel Gawad, who's trying to be the one-man fast breaker, the one gal fast break, and she does it, scoring it off the glass for two. Yeah, that was a good job. I mean, if you don't pick her up, they're, they're going to go all the way to the basket, and that's exactly what um, Al... Well, I'm going to say it right. <laughs> Abdel Gawad. You yeah. got it. Nice job. It's about time, poor yeah. thing. I hope I'm glad she's not listening. <laughs> Listen, you were you were on point. <laughs> so that was the second foul on Meade, by the way, as Adams and her got tangled up on the inbounds. Now Adams gets to the foul line, kicks it out for Asia Hudson. Uh, corner three, ring it up. Asia Hudson continues to strike course. from way downtown here <laughs> in Norfolk, and the fans in pink love it. Of course, Asia Hudson's been on fire today. Get the fire extinguisher. 21-point lead for Old Dominion. Now it's going to be Walker up top against Iggy Allen. Trying to get into the post. Brianna Jackson with his long arm. She steals it away. And she'll take her time. Iggy Allen hits the deck over to Asia Hudson. She'll throw the lob to Alex Rouse. Rouse, one dribble down low to Iggy Allen, who is sandwiched between two defenders and misses it. And how she didn't get foul on that, I don't know, because that was uh, multiple collisions on that sequence. And here is Meade into the front court. Well, Rouse, what a great find. That, that was a great pass to Iggy Allen. Iggy just could not finish it. Turning right by Hudson and getting trapped underneath, but able to score with the body control is Abdel Gawad and coach Delisha Milton-Jones, the Women's Basketball Hall of Famer, will ask for a timeout here with 4.41 to go. WKU has made four of their last five shots from the field, but it's ODU at home on the pink out. Hoops for the Cure Day up 68 to 49 here at Chartway Arena on the ODU Sports Radio Network. With 22 points, Iggy Allen with 16 points and 14 rebounds, and the Monarchs holding Western Kentucky to just 14.3% shooting from behind the arc, Susan. Hudson and Allen have been dynamic, but more than anything, we're seeing the unselfishness, that play that you want to see after a game where they didn't have any assists in the fourth quarter here. We look up right now in this fourth quarter where it wouldn't matter that much. They've got three assists. Yeah, and uh, right now they got 13 assists to nine turnovers, and we know when this team shares the basketball, they win basketball games. When they rebound the basketball, they win basketball games. They're up on the boards, 46 to 33. So, you know, they're doing what uh, gets them uh, those wins, and they're, they've they been able to do that pretty much the entire game except for just a little lull in the second period. Adams gets the inbound up ahead to Alex Rouse. You're telling me it's pretty simple. Play hard, play smart, play together. Yeah, that's what that's, that's a Carolina way, so I think that'll work anywhere and definitely working for Old Dominion. I know you like that, as does assistant coach Shaman Williams. The pass from Jackson to Asia Wayne has dribbled off her foot and will head out of bounds. Yeah, they got a big one today due to the heels against the uh, Hokies later on in the men's side of basketball. The ball's going to be rolled in up ahead to Alexis Mead, who picks it up just in front of us and gets it past the timeline with 4.17 to go, dribbling with her left against Mariah Adams. Uh, Brianna Jackson comes over to block it, and she's going to be whistled for that personal foul. So Jackson picking up just her second foul today, but I know she's been trying to keep under that four-foul count. Hasn't played as many minutes today, just 11 so far. Well, that 
that right there, I know she wished she could have that back because instead of coming down and fouling, she's 6'3". Mead's like 5'5 five, five or 5'6". Five, Just get your hands up and see if Mead can score over you. Mead misses the first of two free throws. Yeah, it's we were talking about the lineup rotation earlier. You pretty much know who the main seven or eight players are. It's always a dangerous thing as the second free throw is good for Mead. And there's nothing wrong with the team. We're broken. This team's on its way to getting its 20th win here as we see Mead uh, split a two pair of free throws. She's got 12 on the day. Rouse will go out, as does Jackson. So it's young Wayne Allen Adams on the floor along with Asia Hudson. So we got the all-senior group, if you will. But you just explore the other options potentially. Maybe you put Brianna in a little bit, Amara Young. It's something I think the staff may ponder here as we move forward here to the last few games of the season given the success they had in the first quarter and the lack of success in some mm -hmm. opening quarters here at home as they reverse it in the corner. Hudson to Asia Wayne. Her three-pointer is going to be off the mark, rebounded by Foster. Yeah, well, Wayne just has not been able to get herself going today. She's tried. She's played good defense. Uh, she got to the free throw line, but from the floor, she's just been a struggle. Blevins now to Foster in the post against... Iggy Allen, her shot's going to roll out. No good. Deflected by Wayne, and it's going to be brought in by WKU, and now they get it with Blevins to Meade, who will dribble out here with 3.35 to go. Western Kentucky unable to make a run, really, to get it within a couple of possessions. Old Dominion in Bowling Green was down 26 in the second quarter. Got to within three in the third period. Not quite the same type of run today, and an offensive foul called as Iggy Allen draws the charge on Macy Blevins. I guess uh, Iggy took a page out of Asia Wayne's book there, huh? Yes, Susan? she did. And, uh, <laughs> you know, you have to give Iggy Allen some credit today. She's she's played a good all-round game. She's gotten on the board. She's passed the ball. She's knocked down some shots, uh, played good defense. So, you know, she, she did other things today because in that last game uh, against Marshall, she did not shoot it well, and she found herself, she was very frustrated. Yeah, kind of an up-and-down situation for her as she had the monster game at UAB with the 29 points and a career-high six three-pointers. Here's Allen for three, and it's going to be long off the back end of the rim, rebounded by Foster here with 3.03 to go. Didn't shoot it well at all against Marshall just the other night for Old Dominion, as you mentioned, uh, just the one field goal in a game where she could have certainly been a difference maker down the stretch, but uh, we'll see if that can continue this performance here today where she's got 16 points, 14 rebounds, WKU with the missile pass, and it's going to be uh, Meade throwing it into Faustino, who's called for steps with 2.46 to play. But certainly 16 points, 14 rebounds, very impressive. But she might not be our player of the game, Susan, because Hudson's got 22. Yeah, Hudson's got 22, and Delisha Milton Jones getting the seniors out and let them go out to a rounding uh, applause here from this great Monarch fans. Standing O from the ODU fans, many of which have the 20th annual Hoops for the Cure pink shirts as well as the pink pom-poms. 2.46 to play, and we've got a new group on the floor for Old Dominion, which consists of freshman Ashanti Barnes-Williams, freshman Kaylin Nelson, freshman guard Eden Sample. Our first look at the 5'11 guard out of Gwinnett, Georgia here, as well as the 5'6 sophomore Joy Campbell and Alex Rouse, the 5'8 freshman from Little Rock, Arkansas. So we'll see what these youngsters can do here for the Monarchs as the savvy vets take seats. That's going to be Sample up top. A little pump move, middle of the lane. Oh, what a finish by Eden Sample. That looked like a KG bet, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, Sample's like, oh, I can take it to the rim myself. Monarchs <laughs> fans like that Sample here at 70 to 50. They enjoyed the ice cream and cake, and also that as well here is going to the deck for WKU is Teresa Faustino, who was fouled on the reach in here, and that's going to go against Old Dominion. I believe Alex Rouse gets called for that foul. Yeah, I think Alex Rouse, I, I really thought Rouse had a good steal right there, but uh, officials didn't see it the same way as I did. They're... They're the ones that count. Team fifth and Faustino at the line here to shoot a couple. You know, outside of a couple of, dare we say, questionable calls, this game has been pretty clean. First one is good as it's Western Kentucky with 19 free throws before that one compared to Old Dominion's 15. So it's been pretty even in that regard. I, I think for the most part, realistically, you know, if you look at it, the officials normally do, do a good job. It's when I think you get frustrated and, uh, you know, shots aren't falling sometimes for you and, you know, then you you look for, okay, what's the reason? Oh, it's the officials. But, you know, for the most part, I think they normally do a good game. Faustino makes them both. Now Sample down the middle of the lane again. Hands it off to Alex Rouse underneath in the post. She scores it against Foster, and she is fouled. Alex Rouse with the bucket and a chance for a three-point play as Old Dominion continues to pour it on here in this fourth quarter. No let up in them with the reserves. Well, you know what, Rouse, she got that ball. She shot it up high, even though she got hit. You know, and that's what you do. You give it a chance to go in, and it did. A glimpse of the future of this program because these are the five we're going to see beyond this year. These players that we watched go out, 
you're not going to have them for long, much longer. Free throw's good regardless of how far you go, postseason play, what have you. 73-52 our score, so you want to get their feet wet and be ready for the 2022-2023 campaign when it rolls around for those to play bigger minutes. Now a three-point shot up top for Meade's going to be off the mark, rebounded with the one hand by Hunter, who kicks it out to Abdel Gawaj. He thought about a three, and now showing Cork one, and it hits the side of the backboard, no good. Uh, chasing down for the rebound is Joy Campbell, gets on the floor and out hustles Blevins. Now it's going to be Rouse trying to get it to Sample. She almost loses the handle along the baseline. She's stuck in the corner, bounces it to... Well, she can't get it to Barnes Williams, and it's going to be a turnover in the midst of Macy Blevins. Well, just, uh, yeah, not not great passing there and uh, got herself stuck. She picked her dribble up on the uh, sideline. 128 to play now as a personal was called on that drive move for WKU's Macy Blevins, who heads to the line to shoot a couple. It's Barnes Williams' second foul, the Lake Taylor High product out of Norfolk, and Blevins 64.9% on the line for the year. And checking out. We will see WKU pretty much call it a day for Alexis Mead, who had some struggles throughout, and Jenna Walker coming in here for the Lady Toppers. The first of two free throws, no good. But this is a key stretch coming up, Susan, for WKU. We mentioned about another matchup with Middle Tennessee. They've got two coming with Marshall, and a team that's played a few different overtime games this year. Second one is going to be good there. They beat Florida Atlantic in overtime, lost to Charlotte in OT, and had to hold off fairly Dickinson in double OT. Monarchs have yet to play an OT game this year. Well, you Western Kentucky, I know they're uh, it's been a tough road trip for them. They got shellacked at Charlotte, and they turn around going to get shellacked here. High post. It's going to be Barnes Williams kicking out to Kaylin Nelson, who tries a three. Can't get it to fall, and it will trickle out of bounds over to the gals in right, white and red. That's WKU as the Monarchs. Liking these pink uniforms today, they have had a tremendous performance here. Pretty much uh, bottling up Western Kentucky's three-point shooting throughout. Just two of 16 from behind the arc for the day. 12.5% as we take under a minute to go. And another foul call as things are getting a little sloppy here with Blevins driving. And it's going to be Joy Campbell diving into the row of seats to our right. Yeah, well, Joy Campbell, that just, uh, you know, she's playing. She was playing tough right there, but not a smart move. No way she's going to be able to uh, steal that ball right there. And the only thing the officials can do is call a foul. First of two free throws off the mark for Blevins. Again, for the Monarchs of Old Dominion, they had that 22-7 to burst to begin the game. Mariah Adams with three steals. Second one now for Blevins will roll home. Some key games coming up before the Conference USA Tournament on the road to Florida Atlantic and Florida International to close out the month of February before a home date with Louisiana Tech on March the 2nd and a trip to Middle Tennessee on March the 5th. 45 seconds to go in our game. It's going to be a high post jumper for Nelson. Off the mark, rebounded by Ashanti Barnes-Williams. Her shot doesn't roll. Offensive board now for Alex Rouse, a third opportunity as they'll try to reset things here with Eden Sample. Double team on her. Sample with the right-handed dribble between the legs. She'll try a three in front of the Monarchs bench. It bounces off the backboard. Rebounded by Ashanti Barnes-Williams. They're padding those offensive board stats, Susan. And Barnes-Williams finds Rouse for the easy deuce underneath. Well, Ashanti Barnes-Williams done a great job today. She's seen earlier minutes and really played strong on the glass. What a pass, too, to find Rouse underneath. Three offensive boards for Barnes-Williams. Now a bounce pass for WKU with Faustino down low. Barnes-Williams thought she had a block, but she's going to get called for the foul, contesting Hunter's shot. So a couple of free throws coming for the 6-4 Hoover, Alabama product. Yeah, I, I, I look like a good block, too. I guess they say she must have got her with the body, but uh, she almost had her one going to be the 24th foul on the Monarchs, but they certainly are aggressive, and uh, Western Kentucky didn't quite match the aggressiveness or energy in the first quarter. The first of two free throws goes down. Well, you know what? We said uh, Marshall came out pu uh, punching in that game on Thursday night, and uh, Old Dominion wasn't able to match it, but tonight they came out punching Old Dominion, and boy, they've, they've never let up. Abdel Gawad uh, has to wipe her right eye. She might have got a hit after getting the offensive board on the free throw miss from Hunter, and she is fouled with nine seconds to play. They're going to call it on Barnes-Williams, her fourth personal after she picked up her third personal just two seconds ago. <laughs> so nine ticks remaining. Adele Gawad sees her first of two free throws go out. Susan, a rough day for her. She finishes up with, well, she's got 16 points right now. Can make it 17, but one of five from the line as Old Dominion did not let her dictate things like Savannah Wheeler did for Marshall two days ago, and she misses the second free throw. Barnes wins with the rebound here with six seconds to go. Joy Campbell trying to find Eden Sample up ahead. She'll get it to Alex Rouse. Loses the handle with two seconds. She'll have her shot blocked in the corner, and it'll be controlled at the horn by Faustino. But Old Dominion gets it done in impressive fashion. 75-55 to 55 over WKU here on the Hoops for the Cure Day. 
at Chartway Arena.